Now I can talk about a suggested creative transportation energy policy. It is not entirely clear if the path of the United States is taking towards converting to ethanol is the right one. The best source for the United States would have to be one that is truly renewable. And not subjected to policies of foreign nations. One of the purposes of changing to a fuel that is renewable is that the fuel can wean the U.S. off the dependency on foreign energy. The idea of being independent of foreign energy should not obscure the worldwide goal that is to prevent and possibly reverse global warming. It may result that importing ethanol produced from sugar cane is a much more viable alternative, at least for the short term, than switching large amounts of corn for the production of ethanol. However, the ethanol industry in the U.S. is growing at an astounding rate due to incentives provided by the government to farmers and production plants for ethanol. Biodiesel seems like a good backup for many different uses. While it may not be possible to run the entire nation on this alternative fuel, it provides a place to eliminate some waste vegetable oil by recycling that which has already been used. The source of this fuel is not going to exacerbate poverty and starvation around the world. There needs to be some policy enacted by the United States to its gathering and processing more of this fuel source. From the analysis of other countries, a few effective strategies that the U.S. can use to implement a brighter, cleaner future are evident. What needs to be done, and to extend to some extent what is already happening. Is that the United States needs to formulate a nationwide policy toward getting renewable fuels to be standard. One possible first step is to start making gasoline-only cars unacceptable in the country. The best way to effect this change is to mandate that every vehicle be flex fuel compatible, so that it can operate on any blend of hydrocarbon-based fuels. Gasoline, ethanol, methanol, etc. The technology exists and the process is inexpensive, about a hundred dollars per vehicle. From there, it should implement the policy a few states and major cities at a time, so that the shock is not too great to the industries involved. The division of federal and state government is already in place, so this element becomes easier. The federal government's role then is to keep the states accountable for their action and make sure the states move toward the national goal. The state's duty is then to delegate the job to respective local governments for them to implement at that level. Something that has been suggested previously and is not being implemented is the idea that companies also need to be held accountable, not just the government at each respective level. Just like with the states, companies should be held accountable in stages, starting with the largest. Similarly, the government should set up some scheme to slowly raise taxes for carbon emissions, with a final result of taxes that are steep for carbon pollutants. But the taxes are gradually raised so that at the beginning, people will have a chance to change how they operate before the severe penalties apply. Gradual implementation can convince people to change, rather than a sudden increase in taxes, which would likely meet resistance on many fronts and possibly be voted down the next time elections came around. 